Hi, Jeevan again. In our last class, we saw classical animation. And today, I'm going to train you on smart animation. What exactly it is? In this smart animation, you have to define two major keyframes and the intermediate frames are generated automatically. Now, let's see how it works. Say, for example, in the timeline, if you have to define first keyframe, you are going to draw a circle on the stage. Now, when you want to move the circle from one part of the stage to other part of the stage, you are not going to draw all the frames as a keyframe. Rather, you are going to go directly on frame number 25 and define second keyframe there. Now, on both the keyframes, right click, hit on create classic tween. Now, this is how your animation will work. Now let's see on the laptop how different things can be performed with this type of animation. In our explanation, we understood what exactly the smart animation is. In smart animation, we have to define two keyframes and the intermediate frames are generated automatically. So let's see how we are going to do the things on the screen. So let's come. I have already imported a ball on the screen and the parameters are set. So let's see how we are going to do. Once when I have imported this ball on the stage, I got the first keyframe automatically as we all know that. Now, so for example, in the smart animation, I have to define the second keyframe. So the second keyframe I'm going to define on frame number 50, say here, right click and insert keyframe. As I told you earlier, shortcut for adding keyframe is F6. Now, what you can do is you can come on frame number one, right click, and hit on create classic tween. Similarly, what you have to do is go on frame number 50, right click and create classic tween. Once you have done this, you just have to specify the positions. So first, this will be the position in second frame, that's frame number 50, this should be the position. So if we are doing the test movie, that is control enter, this is the animation what we get. Now, this was a simple movement of an object what we saw. If I have to rotate my object with the motion, what I have to do is come on frame number one and in the property itself, you can see there is an option of rotation. And if you drop down that, you can see there is clockwise and counterclockwise two options which are available. In clockwise, I'll specify here, it should have complete rotation one time. Similarly, on the second frame, that is frame number 50, I will choose under rotation clockwise and the complete rotation should be once. So this has been defined now to rotate an object. See what happens, test movie. So this is how my object is going to rotate. Now this is the only method how you are going to rotate your object. Avoid using manual method. Now. Third thing what I'm going to teach you on this is how to give the opacity that is transparency. Here we have to find the option called alpha. So on the first frame what I want my object should be here. On the last frame it should be invisible. So coming back on frame number 50 the object should be invisible. So what I have to do is click on the object. It, the property bar will show the properties for the object. Now after clicking on the object you have color effects. In color effect, you have style. Under style, drop down that bar and you have this alpha. Click on alpha and reduce it to 0%. So if we test move with this, this is how your alpha works. So this is how your complete smart animation or the tweening takes place. There are lots of things what we can do in this. We'll show that later. Thank you.